I really encourage all parents, especially new parents, to get involved in any kind of parenting program, whether it's online, where they can talk to other parents. I myself um, really felt the value of a parenting group with a parenting expert who could help guide the group. Um, So valuable uh, in the beginning. And it was at the time that I started parenting education, I was really responsible for the education of foster parents and birth parents in the uh, foster programs that I was running. And I realized how little I knew myself because I wasn't having any real problems with my son or my stepdaughter, but the parenting program helped me be such a better problem solver and help my kids to be such better problem solvers. And one of the, um, you know, stories that I tell a lot is that they really are incredible incredibly creative at solving problems together if only they learn those skills and are reminded to do those things. So I will let you. Um, yes. Excellent. Let, let me ask my question. First, I need to give you a little bit of background so that you can do, okay. do your analysis, and then I'm going to tell you the end result. Uh, okay. I've got so many cases I could go into, but I picked these two because these are two that I'm working with right now. And I need to go back a number, a number of, and I've known them for a number of years. And uh, only bits and pieces. I've met, their, uh, they are two brothers. Uh, the, what they went through as children. Can you believe this? Well, of course, I know you probably can because you've probably seen worse mm-hmm. than this. Mm-hmm. Their parents, of course, their parents, one was four years old, the other was six. And they were living in the United States. Their parents divorced. The one parent, okay, because of dual nationalities, took the the children to another country, where mm-hmm. and then prom- and then promptly came back to the United States, and uh, and and could pursue a career because they they were too busy to basically be bothered with the kids. Mm-hmm. The father the father did eventually start sending money to help support them. These children went through absolute nightmares, apparently. They were abused mentally, emotionally, physically, and uh, horribly mistreated. Finally, they were, uh, their father was able to go pick them back up and bring them back in the United States, but unfortunately, uh, he didn't do much better either. But mm-hmm. these children went through a lot as, children, as young kids. You know, and I want you to try to project, and I'm going to tell you how close you are to being where they're where they're at now. I mean, what's happened to them it, now? Because they're both growing; they're both adults now. Uh, uh-huh. So, what, what, oh, wow. what would you think? That they're, they're, and they're, they've taken a little bit different courses. Both of them have. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I suspect that if they have been able to um, come through this, that they had a lot of help um, from from a lot of other people, that they probably um, suffered. I, I would imagine my sense of that kind of um, abuse and neglect results in people who either um, fight or hide. So either violence or hiding through drug addiction or the kinds of becoming invisible um, and self-destructive behaviors. When people are able to get through that, um, it's because they've had a lot of help that they've been able to um, pilot their, their way through that. But it's very, very difficult for young people to um, transform themselves. And without a lot of help, they often repeat the patterns with their own children. You so I don't are, know if that's enough. Well, the, yes, you, one of them, you're exactly on target. A, a severe emotional situations. 
very severe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and hiding, you're correct, that's it. Hiding total disinvolvement from society practically. And uh, it's in, and the other one, not violence so much, but as uh, very, very extroverted. And that's the older one. Very, very extroverted. Uh-huh. And uh, and the and the other one just the opposite, just totally introverted, practically, and uh, very little self-esteem, and mm-hmm. it, 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 it's 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 very very sad. It's very very sad, and and all this came from something that could have been averted if if the mm-hmm. parents had had a little bit of knowledge and realized how much damage they were doing, or even mm-hmm. or even had had a little bit of self of respect for their their own children. So. Yes. Anyway, enough said. Yeah. But, but 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 you're on target. You're on target, and I hope people listen to this realize how important it is, and they do get involved with with the their uh, education. You know, prior to, prior to having children, that they, they get a little bit of a parenting education. Yes. You are so right. I uh, think um, also one of the things that I was going to say was that when I wrote this book. Um, there, there were parenting resources were really just becoming popular and available to people. And I thought, oh, wow, uh, you know, in the next 10 years or so, they're going to have courses in high school um, on parenting and dealing with emotions so that by the time young people become parents, they already understand that there are some things that they need to learn and some things that they need to do. And, and I think I wrote my second book because, you know, here we are as many years later, and none of that has been integrated. Not only has that not been integrated, but the role of, of parents in terms of uh, learning how to operate in a democracy and the lack of educational system. Um, there's only eight states um, that require tests in civics out of all the states in the country. And it is, is it any wonder that we have a population who have no idea how the government works. So the parenting part really provides the base, and then the um, educational system really provides the structure for how you take those lessons you learn in family and apply them li- to living in a society, in a democracy. Um, so we've you know, missed the boat on a couple of, a couple of places. In this country, um, I, and I, I, I bet Florida is not one of the states that that requires it. Are they? Correct. Correct. <laughs> uh, they have. Uh, Florida has, unfortunately, it's, it's sad to say this, but uh, an abysmal record in this area, as you probably have known from reading news media accounts and so forth. This is some of the horror stories that went on here. Uh, yes. So, yes. And of and, course, we know the leadership um, right. in terms of these kinds of issues is lacking <laughs> and oh, we're totally like I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to a change in how that is all happening soon <laughs> so. many many of us are many of us are believe me yes um, I'm sure I don't know how much time we've got here not much I don't think but I want you to wrap up with in, in the next two or three minutes here some of some of your final thoughts on this book and yeah okay. we're down to about down to about two minutes here so if you could wrap up and okay then, Okay. Well, I want to say, um, if only they came with instructions, a guide for parents really is that. It's just a guide, and it helps parents look at their own assumptions and their own backgrounds and provides a little bit about ages and stages of development and helps people identify ways to deal with emotions in a healthier way. Uh, so that that's basically... Um, and it leads into really my second book, which has a similar as, you know, looking 20 years ago and thinking all these changes will have taken place and being confronted with the current reality of they haven't taken place. Um, every week I read newspaper accounts of children who've been brutally injured or killed by parents who, and I quote, just wanted to discipline them. So um, I'm hoping that uh, the work that I've done, as well as all the other um, parenting groups and experts around the country, can really help people better grapple with their job, because that the children are our future, 
And if we want to help children, the best way to do that is to help parents. Excellent. And I'm going to give our listeners uh, for your next interview, and so they'll tune in the following week, uh, your title is Nobody's Perfect perfect parenting in a world of change and and i'm yes. looking forward to that interview and we're going to uh continue on then thank you so much uh marlene for being with us here today you have given us an excellent excellent rundown and uh look forward to talking to you more here okay my pleasure steve thank you Thank you for listening, and we hope you have enjoyed today's discussion. This has been Coastal Progressive and Rainbow Forum on Society Bites Radio, and I have been your host, Steve Ryan.